And this is reason. something totally different. Let's get back to climate change and our public service messaging. Weddings are usually a luxurious, no expense spared occasion full of great food and drink to create that unforgettable moment. And our next guests, Kaylee and Joe Tilston, were determined to have something like that but with their own morality tale attached to it. Yeah, because they, they did... did have a lavish banquet. Go ahead. Sorry, Cathy. As you can see, look for yourselves. Uh, very lavish indeed. But all these dishes were created from surplus food that would otherwise have been destined for the rubbish bin. The event was catered by a charity, The Real Junk Food Project. It runs cafes selling so-called waste food. And it stopped more than 250 kilos of food from ending up in landfill. Well, we can speak to Kaylee and Joe now. They're joining us from Leeds. Um, uh, welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Tilton, and congratulations, first of all. Thank um, you. Thank I, you. Did, did you tell all your guests what they were getting? Uh, not until afterwards. Not until after they'd eaten. Uh, a few of them were still queuing up for food, but uh, the majority of them had tucked in, uh, and were, it was a big surprise to all of them. Well, and uh, you say big surprise. Did they choke on it, or did they tuck in more? <laughs> I mean, are they your kind of people? They're, a lot of them were our kind of people, but we did um, expect a few people there that we'd have to convince otherwise, and that was definitely the main reason for the big reveal. And the really pleasing part of it was that people went back for seconds and thirds, um, and there wasn't a massive amount of the end of the night, which is obviously what we wanted. So I, I, I was looking at the menu and some of the things you served, and it looks absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. You were serving things like pork ribs and sea bream, and I think that kind of fresh produce, having fish that would have been destined for the rubbish bin, I guess people might be surprised by that, that you were able to get that kind of fresh, the kind of quality of food that you were getting that would have gone in the, in the trash otherwise. I think a big assumption about it is that this is food that's passed its sell by date and it's absolutely not. This is all stuff that uh, was surplus to requirements um, that would have, uh, a lot of it was fresher than the thing you'd find on the supermarket shop floor that would have basically, that there wasn't space for it on the, on the shop floor so it would have gone straight to landfill. Um, so this charity intercepts it and then luckily they saved it for our wedding and we ended up with some incredible things. You know, there was ox and sea bream and all these kind of things and some amazing vegan and vegetarian salads. It was unbelievable, really. Well, I mean, you got a really good deal. That is clear out of this. I think you didn't have to pay too much either, which of course helps uh, when you're splashing out on a big wedding. But I, I just wonder for you, is, the, is this more about getting the message out? Because at the end of it, you'd like to think that um, food going cheap if it's going to waste might actually be there for people who can't afford to pay that full price anyway. Absolutely. I mean, having to cater for nearly 300 people um, was obviously a, a big consideration in terms of cost, you know, um, having to pay something around £5 a head as opposed to £25 a head on average for wedding catering was a big part of the decision. However, the main message and the main reason we initially thought of the project was to deliver, you know, a clear um, sort of opinion, really, that, mm. you know, you don't have to go for things that cost the earth, but also things that, that are surplus. You know, yeah. it's, it's about using things that are available to us and being more resourceful. Kaylee, I understand it wasn't just the food, the flowers also, I think, that you got um, recycled or from a florist recycled and your dress you're going to reuse as well? Yes, absolutely. We, we've actually set up a Facebook group to try and recycle more things from a number of weddings that we've been to and we hope that it grows and grows and that people become more resourceful with every part of big events. It's too easy to spend small amounts on the internet and have mass produced um, very difficult to recycle um, items when you can actually reuse things and make it look even more beautiful sometimes. Okay, Joe, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, Kaylee and Joe, good sports. Thank you very much for Thank coming you. on the programme.